Okay, hi, I'm Liad, and I'm going to talk to you about uh, some cute trick that I used uh, for the problem I encountered in uh, my job. So the task I was given is I got, I'm getting a container with many elements. It could be from network, from accelerator, from GPU, I, I don't know. And I have many types of handlers that can handle this element. And which handler to use, I only know at uh, runtime. So as you can see, I have this element, and I have handler A, and it has this uh, method that can handle elements, and I have handler B that can handle elements. So the simplest solution I could come up with is just use good old-fashioned uh, inheritance. So I have this class uh, handler base, and it has a, a virtual function that can handle elements, and each handler, each handler just inherit this uh, handler base and override the function which whatever it needs. And now my main would look like this. So I have this uh, function called choose handler, and it's uh, implemented in some other uh, file, and it gives me which, whichever handler the user wants me to get. And I have get elements which I can keep calling and get more and more elements from my network accelerator or I don't know what. And then I just, uh, in the main function, I just get the handler, and then I can uh, iterate over all the elements and handle them. So. Also, I'm very, very bandwidth uh, focused. So I want to get the highest bandwidth as possible. So I don't like this solution because I have many virtual calls to a very small uh, method that does nothing and it could lead to poor performance. However, I am happy because each handler is written in his own file and my main module only knows handler base. So I have good encapsulation. I can add handler C and I don't even need to recompile my main function, and I have a fast compilation. So a more modern approach uh, would be to use concepts and variant and have some concept of handler, and then handler A and handler B are just uh, good old structs. They have no virtual function uh, or something like that. And then I need to somehow choose whichever handler I want, so I need to return a variant of all the handlers. Uh, we also saw this in a, a talk a few days ago. And uh, then I just choose my handler, and I use a visit to get my actual uh, handler, and then I just iterate over the elements and I handle them. I could also do the visit outside of the while, but it doesn't matter because I assume get elements uh, returns a vector of uh, millions or billions of elements, so it's okay to do the visit once every get. So, so now where I am, now I have good performance because I do only one variant visit per each uh, element, so I have good performance. But I'm not happy because now my main file needs to know all the handlers available. And if, for example, I want to add handler C, now I need to recompile my code, change the signature of uh, my uh, get uh, handlers met, uh, function, and I have no encapsulation, and it might lead to slower compilation. So a different approach would be to be virtual on aggregation. So what I use here is that I'm getting lots of elements at once for my uh, network or accelerator and I can handle them and do a virtual handle on the collection of the elements, and then each handler uh, only overrides the handle that is the handle of the span of many elements and does the for loop, and the handle method itself, the single uh, handle method is uh, very, very simple, and it's not virtual, and I can call it many times without worrying. So now my main would be back to returning a unique PTR of handler base like I wanted in the first place, and I'm getting a vector of elements, and I can handle uh, all the elements at one virtual code. So now I'm somewhat happy because I have only one virtual call per vector of many elements, so I will have good performance, and my main file only knows handler base, so I'll have good encapsulation and fast compilation. But now, I'm, this code won't pass the CR because I have lots of boilerplate and it's not so elegant. So uh, my approach would be to have this handler base and you'll have the virtual handle on span of many elements. And I will have another abstract layer, uh, which I'll call it handler, and it will inherit from handler base but be template on derive, and it will override the handler of many elements and it will do the iteration of all the elements, and it will call the derive handle on a single element. And that way, handler A and handler B are very small again and uh, very elegant. So that way, if I want to have an add an handler C, I just add it, and then my choose handler will just, instead of returning handler A, it will return handler 
template on handler A, and that way I can just choose the handler, and now I have good performance, and also my main file only know uh, the handler base, and I have good encapsulation, it's compilation, and it's easy to add more handler. So if you have aggregated the input, it's a nice uh, pattern. Thank you.